Right. Uh, well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to this uh, meeting of the Bracknell Town Regeneration Committee, uh, and my last one. Um, item one, do we have any apologies for absence? Yes, I have apologies from Councillor Betterson. Okay. Hopefully one or two might turn up as well. Do we have anybody else online? Um, I have Councillor Atkinson and Councillor Temperton online. Brilliant. Ah, yes. No. <laughs> uh, item two, to declare any declarations of interest. No. Uh, item three, to approve as a correct record the minutes of the uh, previous meeting. Anyone against? No. Nope. Uh, any urgent items of business? Oh, no, none notified gone pretty well over the years not having urgent items um just before we go into urgent uh, into exclusion of public and press um as this is my last meeting actually it's my penultimate meeting on the council but it's my last meeting of this committee um there are a few people i wanted to um thank there's quite a few people but i'll keep the list short um first and foremost i wanted to mark the huge amount of work that's been done by every single member of this committee all of the executive and all of the councillors over the last 10 plus years in moving this forward. I think residents will actually have no idea of just how much work has gone in and went into making the lexicon what it is today. And we'll never know kind of the ups and downs, the lefts and rights, the good days, the bad days and everything else. Um, and it has been a huge team effort by everybody. And I think when you look at all of the awards that we've won since all the mentions in the press and everything else the one thing that's been called out time and time again is the partnership approach the joint working how it's been done and it sets this council out i think as as, as an exemplar of how just to do it and that just doesn't just extend to the working between bracken regeneration partnership and and members and officers of the council but i think it talks about how as a body as a council this has had unstinting, unwavering support from everybody, respect, irrespective of their politics and their own views. And again, I think that's been, you, you can't underestimate the impact that that's had when you're talking to other people and when you're outside talking with other councils about how important that's been. I think the original development agreement, the original vision and master plan was signed by the then leader of the council, which was a member of the Labour Party and, and seconded by or co-signed by uh, Paul as leader of the opposition. I think revised documents have been signed by Paul and co-signed by the leader of the opposition and it's had total unstinting support from all members and I think that's made it difficult when we've had to come and present difficult options, difficult choices, difficult conversations that the council has been part of that vision, has all bought into it and actually the whole team effort of every single member of the council has, has led to the success that it is today. But that's only as strong as the people around it that are supporting it. And I think we've already mentioned Tim, and I think I've embarrassed Tim enough times um, uh, in the work that he has done when chief executive. But again, just you can't, you can't possibly um, mark the success of the lexicon without mentioning again the work that Tim did in bringing the project to, um, to, its, to its conclusion and to where we are today in his various guises as contract negotiator, troubleshooter, marriage guidance counselor, um, between a couple of a couple of different factions and parts of the uh, of the various thing, uh, relationship builder with one or two, two key tenants, and and a, and a longer other list. People who aren't here, Victor Nichols, I just like that Mark. Victor, in addition to his unbelievable photography skills, um, and, his <laughs> and his archive of photos that keep popping up now that show the bleaker side of the regeneration when all the trees were gone, uh, very in lines. Um, who I believe then went down to Winchester and tried to help them with their regeneration. Um, you know, these are some of the teams that I think when you look back on it, um, Chris and Andrew as well, I think when we were talking about it before you, I think we ended up talking to each other more than we all talked to our own partners at one point. Um, and I, um, I wanted to thank Steve Loudon as well uh, for some of those kind of pragmatic solutions to problems that he found. Steve's role tended to be more of the peacemaker and finding a solution through and talking and different liaising with different departments. Um, the list goes on and on. Obviously, sitting next to me on one side, 
uh, or actually on both of you on one side, is the work that Andrew and his team have done in the past, have continued to do to make the town centre a success. Uh, Chris, who joined, uh, Chris Mansfield, who joined us after Beryl and everybody else had left on a very short-term basis to help with economic development, um, has picked up all of this and has stayed a lot longer um, and again continues to be part of the ongoing success and of course the wonderful Sarah who I was hoping to see tonight but she's not here who has been that incredible is she online oh damn it I wanted to embarrass her um, yeah oh she's on holiday oh. but the incredible Sarah who's been leading on so many of the events that have uh, put us on the map globally as well and of course the forest giants um, it's been a huge team success um, no one person stands out as any more important role. Our new chief executive, who has now inherited uh, some of the challenges that we face now and the ongoing and the next phases of our regeneration with a joint venture, which will lead to even more success for the town centre. But no one person is, is bigger than, than anything else. And so I just wanted to mark that my thanks to everybody involved in everything they've done, whether it's through their support of the scheme, whether it's their... Um, involvement in this committee, whether it's the side projects that have impacted on this, whether it's the work on other bodies that have impacted this as well, and everyone that's given this project sort of its unstinting support to make it success. And I think residents have no idea of just how much work that's been. Um, if I've left anybody off that list, I really do apologise, but my thanks go to everybody that's helped to make this the success that it is. Right, um, moving on. Uh, exclusion of public and press are we happy to take that as read good thank you. thank you very much anyone against <laughs> uh, no so agenda item six the Bracknell Town Centre regeneration